The war has overshadowed celebrations of Eid al-Fitr almost across the country. Yet this reality gets even tougher when it comes to displaced people. Despite their constant struggle to survive, they still lack lots of basic things in their life. This report looks at how displaced people in Aden have received Eid. During Eid, many families have nothing to provide for their children, except love and warmth. Khered lives with his six children in a camp for the displaced in the city of Aden. In a small tent, the displaced family from Hudaydah struggles to celebrate the holiday of Eid al-Fitr. We used to welcome Eid al-Fitr with joy and happiness. We did everything we need, food supplies, clothes and sweets for the children. But now we don't have anything. We can't even go to visit our families during the holiday of Eid. The suffering of displacement dominates their miserable lives, which lack the most basic necessities of living in these tents. 400 displaced families share poverty, deprivation and suffering here in this camp. In Dar Saad in Aden, in light of the limited humanitarian and relief support provided to the displaced. What made the celebration of this occasion exacerbate is the bitterness of the harshness of life, more than it brought the feast of joy and happiness. We have been displaced for four years now. We can't do anything here in the camps. We can't even go walking or do any activities during Eid, like we used to do before in Hodeida. We can't provide our children with a proper food or clothing. We can't afford getting them anything. The life here in the camps is so different than the one we had before in Hodeida. Ammar bin Yasser camp is one of the camps for the displaced from the fighting areas, which includes thousands of families. Despite the relief activities of local and international organizations, the relief efforts have failed to provide an acceptable standard of living that meets the needs of the displaced, especially with the prolonged war in Yemen that continues for the eighth year. As you can see, the situation here is so bad. People can't afford buying their children aid clothing. The prices keep increasing and we don't have jobs or any source of income. Families here go beg for money in order to save the children and help them survive. In our hometown, we used to go walking, go to our jobs and gain some money to provide for our family. But here in the camps, we don't have any of this. The attempt to adapt to the reality of displacement and its repercussions is the bitter truth that depicts the details of lives of thousands of Yemeni families displaced from their homes. Where all their days are the same and the holidays bring only a small fraction of change and a lot of sorrow and nostalgia for families to return to their homes that were destroyed by the war.